Many of us are very familiar with the liturgy of the Eucharist, the source and summit of all things Catholic and the ideal liturgy. Note that in the liturgy of the Eucharist, we consecrate material things. We take the bread and the wine, and through the power of the church and the ministry of the ordained priest, these gifts are consecrated and become for us the body and blood, the soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the liturgy of the word, which also requires an ordained minister most naturally for the proclamation of a gospel and the church's blessing, we reflect deeply on the word not incarnate as much as the logos, the, inter the eternal word, the reason behind the universe. The liturgy of the word then consecrates our ideas, our rationality. This might be contrasted with the liturgy of the Eucharist, which consecrates more physical things that we can taste and touch and see. There is another important element to human life, our physicality, our intellectuality, and that is our time. The way we grow and mature, the way we mark time, the way hope and expectation, even anxiety reaches out into the future and memory grasps on to the past to make it present. The liturgy, which is dedicated to consecrating time, is the liturgy of the hours. The particular prayers of the Liturgy of the Hours are often published today in a book called The Breviary. As such, The Breviary is an invention of the Franciscans who needed a shortened, brief version of the Psalms and the Liturgy that they could carry with them as they wandered the countryside and the towns. The Breviary is published in English in a four-volume set. You've probably seen your favorite priest carrying around his Breviary opening it and praying from it at various times of the day. The breviary is also available online through a number of web pages, resources, and even apps that you can download to your phone. Like the Franciscans, if you have the breviary in your pocket, you will always be able to say the office. If you're not sure where to begin your practice at the Liturgy of the Hours, I encourage you to take a quick look at your daily routine and note when you have 10 to 15 minutes free to add Liturgy of the Hours. You'll find that there is an hour that fits that time of day, whether it be first thing in the morning, middle of the day, in the evening, or before you go to bed. Promise yourself that you will set aside that time of the day for a week Find a great resource for the Liturgy of the Hours and commit yourself to praying even that one hour throughout the week.